everybody welcome back to the channel so today is going to be a bit of a shorter video i decided that i wanted to redo um daisy's house i didn't really feel like the house we had was working for us and unfortunately i had filmed all of me building it and everything so far and my um recording app crashed and i lost the recording so this is just picking up from where we left off um, I really like this house. It's a bit smaller. Um, if you, as you can see, um, it classifies as like one of the tiny homes. Um, so we should see a little bit of a reduction on our bill, and um, we should also receive some like benefits to socializing and skill skills as well. Um, I also, because we have the simple living trade on, I really, really wanted to be able to have a chicken coop. I did look at having the animal shed as well, but it was way too big for this lot. So I just settled for the chicken coop. And you can see I'm really struggling to figure out where I want to put it. Um, I also, for this build, I downloaded um, Tex Mexi's um, Better Build and Buy mod. I'll link it in the um, description down below. It's a game changer. You can find all the live edit objects, debug, all of the objects you normally can't find right there, all nicely like sorted out in your um, catalog. It's it's a total game changer. So I, um, you can see me going through some debug items here. Um, and how I figured out how much we had for the house, I basically just bulldozed. We're still in the exact same lot we moved into, but I bulldozed the house that we downloaded from the gallery. And we had about 10,000 simoleons from that. Um, so I figured we would use that to build um, this little home. Um, at the, by the end of this video, we have about 2,000 simoleons left over. I didn't, you know, completely furnish the house. I just kind of... Um, I put all of our old furniture in our um, household inventory and I just put it back into the house. Um, I didn't really purchase um, much else other than like the chicken coop and um, some of the greenery and stuff. So here I am just um, painting the terrain under the chicken coop. I also realized that I completely forgot to put a... Um, gate on there so the next time I'm in the game I'll make sure that I put a little gate on the chicken coop fence so that we can actually get into the chickens but I'm excited in the next part to buy some chickens and start working on that and we're going to start growing our garden again um here's me saving because my game kept crashing and I kept losing all my progress which is really annoying um, I also could not, I put the banana trees in our family inventory, but I could not find them when I went to place everything again. So I put down our yoga mat and we're just going to plant some new fruit trees behind it so that we have our little um, yoga area. I also, looking back, I think I want to change the roof in all honesty. I feel like I want to put a glass roof, roof over the, it already kind of looks like a conservatory with all the windows. Um, so I think, yeah, I think we're going to change that to a glass roof and then move that solar panel over. Um, I also felt like it made sense that she would have solar energy. I think that that's something we could also, um, look into purchasing. Um, but now we're just moved on to the inside of the house. Um, I went for the bright yellow wall which you'll see in a second but i also kept this brick wall that we did use in the old house too i just i love that brick wall i think it's amazing i think it's beautiful i'm i'm obsessed with the brick walls at the moment um <laughs> so yeah so this is just going to be a one bedroom one bathroom this um this time which means it is smaller than the other house but it gives us more room to be able to have a, a good little garden going and to have the chicken coop, which is kind of the stuff we really need at the end of the day. Um, so yeah, in a minute here, I'm just gonna get all the furniture out of our um, inventory and um, place it all down. I think I purchased like one extra counter cause I didn't like how there wasn't one beside the stove here. Um, <laughs> that really bothered me for a while. Um, and I was just playing around trying to figure out how to use the better build and buy mode catalog um because i realized it wasn't showing my cc stuff um 
because I didn't have it selected. So yeah, and as you can see, um, Tanner is still there. He was in bed in the old house when I started uh, rebuilding. So <laughs> he's just been standing there the whole time. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think of the new house. Do you think it suits her a bit better? Um, I definitely am excited to throw some more furniture in it. Obviously, it's very bare bones at the minute. Um, but yeah, give me some feedback. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I thought it was super cute. I'm really happy with it. I like it much more than the other house. Because that would just seem so impractical. It was so big and like she's one sim she's one sim and she just gardens all day like she didn't need a big house you know we're still i feel like a ways away from having a baby or anything so maybe by then we'll um we'll get a, a bigger place but as you can see i added back the simple living lot and here is the final house that was weird <laughs> for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos.